so I'm going to do a video series on my dog who has a CCL tear. Did he leave you any water? Which is um, like an ACL tear in a human. It's a cranial cruciate ligament tear and he has it in his back left knee. And here he is. This is Shadow. Hi Shad. He is almost 10 and he is a lab shepherd mix. And my other dog just drank all of his water so I'll need to go get that for him. Um, so about two weeks ago he started limping and um, we took him to the vet. They thought it was arthritis. Let me just fill this up really quick. Um, they gave us some Rimadol and sent us home. And then the limp got worse and worse until July 1st. He just couldn't get up at all. Um, his limp was actually in the front legs, which is interesting to note. But now in hindsight, this is Woody, my other lab. Hi, Wood. Um, what was going on was Shadow was compensating with his front legs for his back um, either tear or rupture. You don't know until they go in and actually do surgery. So anyway, when his front ribs started giving out is when he became completely incapacitated. And so, um, let's see, that was, actually we took him in June 22nd. That was July 1st. Today is July 8th and um, we have an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon that's coming up Thursday. But I've pretty much made up my mind not to do surgery at this point. Um, what I'm planning on doing is um, getting a custom-made stifle brace for him. We have the cast kit coming. We'll cast his leg and get the molding so they can create the proper um, stifle brace for him. And then I started him on a joint supplement um, Cosequeen right now, but I'm thinking of switching him over to Platinum Performance because it is a combination of everything I want. It's got the hyaluric acid in it because if I stay on Cosequeen, I'm going to add hyaluric acid in. And what I'm trying to do is beef up his other joints, his other legs, and he also has hip dysplasia um, because of his age. And he was actually hit by a car when he was a puppy. So I'm trying to help those other joints to be strong. So I'm also doing um, phototonic red light therapy every day on it. And I'll show you what that looks like. That's this thing. And it's Phototonic Health is the maker. I actually have it for my horses, but I'm using it on him twice a day for the inflammation. I took him off the Rimadil because he was having stomach irritation with that. So I'm doing the Phototonic Laser on his leg for inflammation and then we are giving tramadol for pain relief um, we've been giving it twice a day today he hasn't had it so we'll probably just give it tonight because he's not in excessive pain it doesn't appear he um, I'll do a video in uh, a little bit later today showing you how he walks so it's pretty bad so the plan of action right now is um, the stifle brace the rest of course um, the supplements the pain um, relief and the phototonic health and so I'm going to document this and see how it goes. We're going to do the conservative management for a few weeks. If that does not produce the results we want then we will consider um, surgery for shadow.